là tu es stable, regarde un petit peu qu ce qui va te tomber euh, les 2 mètres après. Voilà, nickel. A rock climbing Australian belayed by a Kyrgyz under the supervision of an Italian. This patchwork of citizenships is the trademark of the French Foreign Legion. Here in the Alps are the mountain training grounds of this elite unit. The climbing Australian is Corporal Husse. He left his country four years ago to fulfill his dream, join the Legion. Being part of the Legion, becoming a Legionnaire, was something of a dream. We are doing something special, which cannot be compared to anything else. Being a soldier in a foreign country is an amazing experience. Young Legionnaires are here to learn close combat, one of the regiment's top assignments. This also means keeping weapons clean and ready to use. When we come back from shooting training, we have to clean our weapons. Another important part of their mission, military intelligence. In this work group, a Frenchman from Brittany is teaching a Polish legionnaire how to use the transmission device. You must be as discreet as possible, so always use the data transmission system. So now, send them a message, telling them you've correctly received the data file. Staff Surgeon Shavano will soon be leaving for Afghanistan, but being ready for such a mission requires more than just physical training. Psychological training is very important. Our soldiers must always be mentally ready for these operations, assisting the Afghan regular army, collecting elements of intelligence. Of course, psychological preparation goes hand in hand with our operational work. A last but not least, a technique that will be useful both for combat and intelligence operations, camouflage. When we want to send a picture, we first have to use special codes, then it can be sent by a radio to the command center. Even though one third of the soldiers in the Foreign Legion are French, the unit can only operate outside the borders of France. This summer, They'll be putting their know-how into practice in Djibouti, Kosovo, Afghanistan and Chad.